Welcome back to another episode of Mass Bassin. Today's episode, since it's Tuesday, is a Tackle Tip Tuesday, and I'm going to show you how to store your soft plastics. So first we'll start off how not to store your soft plastics. That's how not to. These are just Strike King Bitsy Tubes, some Yum, uh, like spider jigs, spider grubs, and then these are uh, straight tail robo worms, 4 inch. Uh, don't store them like this because you put them in your box, you put them in your bag and tilt it up like this, they all go to one side, and then they get warped, and you open up, open them up, and then you go to get a worm, and you end up having a worm that is really bent up, like that. That's not going to stay straight, or this one. So, don't do that. Here's how, here's how you should store them. In these big Plano boxes like that. Really deep ones. I think this is, what number is this? This model is 3731. So you saw the worms there, now if you come over here, we'll look at some Senkos, nice and straight, nothing wrong with them, not bent or anything, uh, you can store them, you can get way more in these boxes, so you have everything, get some flipping baits, um, tubes, coffee tubes, so this is way better, you can also organize it by, if you have... Like, this is just all my soft plastics that fit in here. But you can organize, you can have multiple boxes of those. Like, plastics, I mean, not plastics, like, creature baits, craws, stick baits, stuff like that. So, recap, storm in these, not in these, if you want to keep your uh, bait good and fresh. So, follow me on Twitter, subscribe, and thanks for watching.